Hey Camso community, welcome to our In the Shop video series. Today we're demonstrating how to properly maintain or replace the wheels and bearings on your Camso track system, which can get damaged by all sorts of things like water accumulation, rocks, fallen trees, dirt, and mud. So let's get right to it. In this video, we'll be working on a 2024 Honda Rubicon TRX 520 Deluxe ATV equipped with a Camso X4S track system. To keep things short, we're only going to show you how to replace the entire wheel assembly for one, but the process is essentially the same for all wheels. It's worth mentioning that you can replace just one wheel or all of the wheels on your Camso track system. Here's what you'll need. ATV jack, impact electric wrench, wrench, tack puller screwdriver, ratchet and ratchet end, hammer, crowbar, wheel puller, clean cloth, grease, torque wrench. The first thing you'll need to do is visually inspect the wheels. They should move freely. To see if they do, jack the vehicle and press down slightly on the lower portion of the rubber track to release the pressure on the wheels. Then, give each one a quick spin to see if they turn freely. Here's a comparison of what a worn wheel looks like versus a new wheel. A worn wheel will show signs of rust, perforation, narrower guidance strip, and or damaged rolling bands. If the wheel shows any of these defects, you should replace it. Also look for signs of damage or wear on the interior guidance strip because this can hinder track guiding and increase the risk of derailing. It can also be a sign that the slide needs replacing. Also verify the width of the wheel. The correct width varies from one wheel and camso track system to another, so check your owner's manual. If it's below what's stated in the manual, replace the wheel. Now let's look at how to remove a wheel for maintenance or replacement. To remove a wheel, especially the mid-roller, it's preferable to jack the vehicle. You should also remove the track first because it will make it a lot easier to remove or maintain the mid-roller. To remove the track, first loosen the jam nut to remove the tension from the track. Then remove the cap from the idler wheel with a tack puller screwdriver and unbolt the idler wheel with the impact electric wrench. Take off the idler wheel and remove the track from the system. Next, you'll want to completely remove the system from the vehicle. To do this, use an electric impact wrench to remove the four hub nuts. Once you've gotten the entire track system off, you can go ahead and remove the mid-roller wheel. There are two ways to remove it. We'll show you both. Let's start with a wrench. Remove the wheel cap with a tack puller screwdriver, then loosen and remove the bolt with the impact electric wrench. Now, you can lift the wheel off the wheel shaft with a crowbar and remove the seal. Okay, let's look at how to extract a wheel another way. This time with the Camso Puller Tool. We're using a Camso UTV4S1 to show you how to do this. The process is pretty much the same. Remove the wheel cap, then loosen and remove the bolt with the impact electric wrench. Insert the Camso Puller Tool and use a ratchet to screw it into the wheel. Now you can go ahead and lift the wheel off the wheel shaft and remove the seal. As a side note, the puller tool is really handy to have because it makes removing stuck on wheels much easier without the risk of damaging them. And if you've got an older track system model with pressed on wheels, you'll have to use the puller tool to remove the wheels. Once you've got the wheel off, it's time for maintenance and replacement. Here, we're replacing the entire wheel assembly, which includes the wheel, bearings, seal, and cap. Start by cleaning the wheel shaft with a dry cloth. Next, apply new lubricant to the wheel shaft. For the Camso X4S track system, you need to apply 1 to 1.5 cc over the entire circumference and width of the wheel shaft. Here's what 1.5 cc looks like. Then install the new seal and apply 3 to 3.5 cc of grease on the wheel seal's V-shaped groove. Here's what 3.5 cc looks like. Your owner's manual will tell you the exact amount of lubricant to add for your particular Camso track system model. Since we're replacing the entire wheel assembly, we'll just go ahead and install the other new components, the wheel, bolt, and cap. 
If you're installing a bolted wheel, make sure it comes into contact with the wheel seal. Then, tighten the bolt to the recommended torque and apply 5 cc of grease. Then, snap the cap in place. Bearings can wear and become damaged over time, which can lead to issues like restriction, noise or abnormal play in rotation. So you should replace any worn or damaged bearings if you want your track system to perform as expected. To give you a better idea of what we're talking about, here's what a new bearing looks like versus a worn bearing needing replacement. Since we're dealing with a Camso X4S, which has double bolted on bearings on the idler and mid roller wheels, we can go ahead and simply replace them. This is pretty easy to do if you have an arbor press and the right ratchet end. If you don't, your dealer can do it for you in no time. Here's how it's done. To remove damaged or worn bearings, remove the wheel from the track system and place it on the press with its flat side facing up. Lower the lever to extract the first bearing, then flip the wheel over and repeat the process to remove the other bearing. Now clean the wheel with a dry cloth and install the two new bearings. Bearings don't have a specific side so it doesn't matter which side faces up. Place the wheel on the press with its flat side facing up and lower the lever to install the first bearing. Then, flip the wheel over and repeat the process to install the other bearing. Your wheel is now good to install. And Bob's your uncle. You now know how to maintain and replace the wheels and bearings on your Camso track system. Have fun out there in the great outdoors.